They say a good book comes to life. Well, these books are so good. They're also coming to TV. Book reviewer Cherie Freeze is joining me with four popular books being made into a television series in 2024. Great to see you. Good to have you good. back. Thanks. So we always say you must read the book before the movie. Do you think that guideline applies to book-inspired TV shows as well? Read the book first? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Um, movies and TV, either way, they can just never capture all of the details that you get in the book. So I feel like you go into the TV series with some extra knowledge. Yes. You're already connected with these characters, you know the background information, and then you get to see it come to life on the screen, and so it's just like a bonus. And then you get to be the judge of how, yeah. how yeah. good they did totally. in those shorter formats. Yeah. It's so hard, and, and series, they have to almost elongate the story in different ways to stretch Sometimes, it out. So yeah. it can take on yeah. a whole different meaning. Yeah. Okay, the first book coming to the TV screen in 2024 is Manhunt, The 12 Day Chase for Lincoln's Killer. What yes. did you like about this book? So this book is really cool because it's nonfiction. It's really based off of all kinds of journals and um, sources. So they nailed that part, but it's also just a really gripping story. Mm -hmm. It's a manhunt, it's a chase. The information that I learned was really awesome about John Wilkes Booth and where he came from and what they had to do to find him. Mm -hmm. So it's got tons of cool information in it, plus it's just a really engaging story also, so you feel like you're learning something and you're entertained, I think will translate really well into a TV series. This is coming to Apple TV on March 15th, so we don't have to wait too long, a couple of weeks, a few weeks anyway, to get this read if you wanna read before you watch. And I'm always impressed, you described it so well, when they're able to take a true story, yes. a historical story yes. nonetheless, and yep. make it a riveting read. Yes. Like that's good writing, it, right? Totally, totally. Okay, we were the lucky ones. Tell me about this book. So this book just like, had my heart. Oh. <laughs> it's a real life family, the Kirk family, okay. um, at the beginning of World War II. And they have to scatter. They all, they're kind of adult children. Uh -huh. um, and they all have to find different ways to survive the war. And they're kind of scattered to different parts, really, of the world. And wow. it's, it follows each of their journeys and what they went through to survive the war. So again, such a great choice to translate into a TV series because yeah. you've got all these different characters that you're following and yeah. their stories are just so inspiring. Yeah, this is coming to Hulu sometime this year, date not announced yet, I love the title. We were the lucky ones. Yeah, right? That alone communicates yeah. themes that I know I would embrace as well. I can see totally. why your heart wrapped around those pages. Yes. A yes. Gentleman in Moscow. A Gentleman in Moscow um, is, if you've ever read anything by a more Towels, he does such an amazing job at capturing characters. It's a more character-driven story. This okay. is a Russian count. Um, right after the Russian Revolution, he's found on the wrong side, and his punishment or sentence is to serve out the rest of his days in the attic of a opulent hotel. Mm. So he's basically on house arrest, mm -hmm. and he kind of has to redefine his purpose in life. And so it's just this really insightful story into kind of redefining your purpose in life. But you got Ewan, McGre Ewan McGregor. I mean, come on. Him. I know. I'm like, <laughs> this is sure to be a success. Winner. You've got Winner. a great story with a great... Yes. Uh, so I'm really excited about that one. This will be released on Showtime again sometime this year. Date not announced yet. Yes. And you can tell that's a very introspective make you think. Yes. That actor will hit that home. Yeah. For sure. Okay, the next book. What do we have? The Tattooist of Auschwitz. Um, another World War II one. The... Lael, and I will butcher his last name because it's, um, anyway, he is a real, a real person who the author, Heather Morris, was able to interview, and he is taken to Auschwitz. Mm -hmm. When they find out that he can speak multiple languages, he is tasked with tattooing the identification numbers mm. on everybody's fellow mm. prisoners' arms as they come in, at which point he meets his soon to be wife mm. and he so just vows yeah it's a love story okay. he vows he will get out and marry her one day so it's there's a lot of hard things in here but it's also just really really hopeful and inspiring it's a really compelling story i oh think it's going to do yeah. so good in on the interesting TV the time period overlap in some of these as well yeah. but that will shape kind of our tv viewing era totally. for the coming year yes agreed right? agreed all kind of past 
Yeah. yeah. All right. The Tattooist of Auschwitz comes out in a six episode premiere, six episode series, excuse yeah. me, on Peacock sometime this year. Shri, thank you so much for drawing yeah. our attention to yeah. these books. We can read them before we watch them. And you're constantly doing this, give, giving women good recommendations of things to read. Where can we follow along? At Late Night Library. Late Night Library on Instagram. We'll yes, link you there Instagram. from our website. Thanks, Thanks again. Okay.